in Singapore that is between the east coast of the United States where it's minus 10 and Beijing where I will head late next week where it's minus 18. Uh, so I'm very happy to be here, not only for the reason of climate, by the way. Uh, many friends here in Singapore this is my third visit, I think. But uh, I'm still intimidated when I'm being introduced to saying I will talk for about 40 minutes, which means exactly 40 minutes in Singapore and in Switzerland. No more, no less. Okay, and I'm not sure I'm going to deliver on that precision. So, so this report, you see the, the a cover of the of the hardcover report. It exists in two versions. The last slide gives you the source. Uh, was really um, a team project led by Jeff Legro and myself. Uh, we had about 20 volunteers, and uh, we split them into three groups. Uh, and these groups were led by Jack Snyder, Marty Finema, and Peter Trubowitz. And without the leadership of these people, it wouldn't have happened, I couldn't have done it, we couldn't have done it. Um, there's clearly, at the time I picked the topic, uh, and I think this has not been changed by the Obama election, uh, a widespread perception in the world that American standing has declined dramatically in the past decade. Uh, President Obama has an admirable charisma, uh, and uh, it, despite this charisma, I think it is unlikely that the, this perception, these are the task force members, uh, that this perception of decline is going to change that much. Standing matters for scholarship and policy uh, for different reasons. Uh, for scholarship, it is particularly interesting because while power remains constant, standing can vary thus affecting influence. But standing is rarely used as a category among scholars. More often we use terms like prestige, reputation, credibility, moral stature, authority, or legitimacy. Yet the concept is very common in the world of policy. Here's Paul Wolfowitz writing from the right in 1992 in the defense planning guidelines. The United States needs to establish a stature so as to convince potential competitors that they need to aspire to a greater role or pursue a more aggressive posture to protect their legitimate interests. The political right in the United States talks about standing and stature quite a lot. One of President Obama's central foreign policy objectives in the election campaign was, quote unquote, to restore American standing. Now in this slide, you see that standing matters politically. Public opinion in the summer 2008 ranked improving American standing in the world as very important, 